Local 10 News reporter Derek Shore is live in Fort Lauderdale with the latest on this one. Derek. Erica, we're here on Southwest 7th Street in Fort Lauderdale. This is where the water main or the sewage main broke early this morning. And you could close your eyes and still know that break happened because you can still smell it. Take a look. You can still see some of the puddles that are left behind here. Crews have stopped work for the time being. They're expected to get back out here tomorrow morning. The start of the weekend turning into a disgusting discovery for dozens of residents here in Fort Lauderdale. I looked out the window and I knew this was not storm water, this was sewage water, and of course the smell was unbelievable. Neighbors literally are forced to walk in sewage here near Southwest 7th Avenue and 7th Street. This is what my yard looked like. A sewage main break sending the untreated material everywhere. This is the minimum third time well, in, in a block and a half. Neighbors like Joseph Dragon incredibly frustrated. They say this is happening far too often, and this time has been the worst. His classic car possibly damaged. 73 Jaguar worth about 100 grand, and it, the water is inside the car. The untreated water also possibly hitting the nearby section of the New River. City officials warning people in the general area of Cooley's Landing Marina to not come in contact with the water until further testing. This guy had no idea. There should be a uh, something here, at least when you pay for parking, to tell you there's a water advisory at least. By late this afternoon, most of the water had been vacuumed up by crews hard at work, but there is still work to be done. What do we do with this residual sludge? Do we shovel it up and put it somewhere? And tonight, the Fort Lauderdale city spokesperson telling us we are working to assess the damage and will be working with our neighbors to remediate any issues for residents. Take a look. You can see that the road is still closed. Southwest 7th Street still closed at this hour as crews are expected to uh, get back to work tomorrow morning. They also say they're going to come out and disinfect the road and the sidewalks, but that likely will not happen on private property. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Derek Shore, Local 10 News.